Hello and welcome back to this edition of Daily Actives brought to you by Bootleg Macro. I'm Dustin. We're looking at Tesla once again and look at this price. This thing had quite the day. You're seeing red lettering with a white background. That means this thing is three standard deviations above its mean. And if you've watched any of my previous videos, which I encourage you to go watch my videos from the last week and the week before, this is exactly what I expected. And the reason why I expected it for Tesla to start to break out, and I'm going to cover this, we'll get to it, but it's the volatility. The volatility is doing exactly what it should. The price is moving at 290. We are above the five day moving average, above the 20 day moving average. We are seeing volume return. We are seeing that this is getting a little overstretched. We are what, 17, oh my God, we're $24 above the 23 day moving average here. And it's still within a random distribution. This thing can easily over 300. I don't know when, I don't know how, but it can definitely get there. We're up 3.2% today. We're up 7.5% in five days, 13 in 15 days, 13% in one month, 60% in three months, and 102% in six months. We have on the short term a go long, on the intermediate a go long, on the longer term a go long. This is to be believed. We've now flipped bullish on the short term, bullish on the intermediate term, and bullish on the longer term. I love what I see here in Tesla. And the thing that's most inspiring to me is that we got out of this area back here where you're in like middle of June where you had incredibly overbought conditions in Tesla. And now we're back at the point where we're back around that 50% level, which again, if you go back and watch my videos from the last week, you'll see that I was commenting on the fact that when we were back in June, that was incredibly overbought. And now that we're close to 50%, this is a great place to go long. You've seen that we're getting another rising bull, which if you look, we got a falling bear on June 22nd. Now, I'm not saying Tesla necessarily went down, but it didn't really go anywhere. And now that we have a, a rising bull again, I actually want to look at the signals here. What's nice, too, is it looks like we are starting to get a kind of a a breakout in terms of the we're getting kind of a war between the bullish and bearish signals. You see that we have three of the key three and we only have one of the bear key three. So that shows me that we're going to see some very good movement here in, in Tesla. This chart just looks absolutely beautiful. I'm not a big trend line guy, but I can just see this thing is holding its levels. It's breaking out to a, a, a nine month high, probably a full year high. We are coming off of levels where we can get much more bullish from here too. We have a lot more bullishness to see inside of Tesla. The volume is starting to return. It is not yet above its 15 day moving average of the volume, but we are at 131 million shares traded today. And this is just a random day in Tesla history. You can see that now the volatility, and this is what I was talking about. So the reason why I believe in the move in Tesla was because the volatility has been falling since the middle of June. But this blue line, which is the correlation to price, had started to slightly go negative. When it went started to go negative was, it looked like it started to go negative on the 26th, 27th. So the 27th, 28th of June, which if we look, this is probably back in here where it started to go negative, the, the correlation, but the volatility was also going negative. And that's when the price starts to slowly just creep on its way up. This is the type of move you're looking for because this is a move you can trust. We're back at the top of the range. It looks like the range is starting to flatten out. And right now I see that we could definitely go higher. I mean, I'm not sure how high, how far, how fast, anything like that. I'm just looking at what I see in my own individual setup and I would feel very comfortable going along Tesla right now. That's just what I personally think for my own account. I don't have any position. I don't plan on taking any position, but I am very, very interested to see Tesla for the next few days here, up 3.2% on that kind of a market cap. But tell me what you think in the comments below. Are you long? Or are you short? Do you like it? Do you love it? Is this even a good review? And before you go, subscribe to the new high newsletter. We, we give you 25 plus stocks breaking out every single week for free Sundays at 9am to your inbox. Go get you some. I'll talk to you soon.